Good morning guys. Today is this is Vlogmas 9. This is Vlogmas month 9. Today is the 8th. Uh today I just gonna go grocery shopping with the kids and all this other stuff. I got it. I look fat. Oh my gosh. Why do I look so fat? Y'all know my my bed. I sleep crazy. The sheet all off the sheet all pulled up over here and stuff. I need to make my bed up. I should have got some, um, what is it called? Some sheets that go, the fitted sheets. I should have got some fitted sheets, but whatever. But let me tell y'all, before I start my day off, I just want to let y'all, put y'all in on some tea or let me tell y'all a story about what happened last night or yesterday. No, it's not really a story. I'm just, it's a situation that I had to put myself into yesterday. So, you know how you have neighbors, okay? And when you have neighbors, sometimes you can hear a lot of their business, okay? So, the other night, not last night, but the other night, you know, I heard my neighbors, you know, making children. Because I don't know if kids watch, I don't, I don't know if kids watch my uh, vlog. But no, matter of fact, it's not the vlog for children because it's going to get real deeper than this. But anyway, so, you know, I heard them making love and whatever. And I'm like, okay, cool, you know. Get down how you get down. You gotta do what you got to do. I'm just, I'm not hating. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, whatever. So, you know, last night I had went to bed around like 10, 11 o'clock, I believe. And um, I got woken up at like 1 o'clock in the morning. And I heard... Um, I heard a lot of noise. I heard a lot of banging or whatever. So I got up. I, I woke up. I'm like, I'm like, you know, what's going on? Somebody would be banging on somebody's door or whatever. Um, so I heard a lot of noise making and all that other stuff. And then next thing I know, I heard a lot of um, yelling. The, the lady was yelling. And I heard the dude yelling. So I'm like, oh, okay. They arguing. So I was nosy. I was trying to figure out what they're arguing about. So I came to the conclusion that I didn't really hear her say it, but come on now. I came to the conclusion that, you know, ain't nobody from the Yale argue at 1 o'clock in the morning about stupid stuff. So in my head, I'm just like, oh, she got caught up with another woman, probably one of his exes or his baby mamas. Cause that's the only reason why a female can be up yelling and, and cursing and stuff at one o'clock in the morning. If you got caught up che cheating, you got you got caught cheating. So yeah, that has to be the reason why you at one o'clock yelling. Okay, and it probably was one of his baby mamas because this is why or his exes that she don't like. And this is why I'm gonna say that because um. They was arguing, they was arguing, they was arguing, woo, 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 changing words, calling each other names. Well, he kept calling her names. She was like, you know, don't stop calling me names, stop calling me names. And then, you know, next thing I hear him say was, you better not hit me. And then, um, they got to fight it. I knew they got to fight it because it got quiet. But all I heard was banging and stuff being moved around, like furniture getting moved around and all that other stuff. So, in my head, I'm like, okay, he's hitting her. Because I know it was him hitting her because, you know, when if a dude was getting hit, he'll instantly say, sure, you know, stop, stop playing with me, don't put your hands on me, woo, 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 stop. You know, usually they, male talk when they're getting hit by a female. So, in my head, it, was, it had to be, well, I knew she hit him first because he told her to stop hitting her. And then he started hitting, then he started hitting her back. He started fighting her back, and he they stopped. They had to be fighting for a good two minutes, and then they stopped, and they started back arguing again. And she was talking about everything that she done for him and all that stuff, and blah, 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 blah. You know, the normal, typical stuff that you argue with your man about when you found out he cheating or whatever. Now, uh, in my head, I'm just like, oh, my God, you know, he's hitting her. Maybe I should just mind my business because... Nine times out of ten, they're going to be right back together. But still, that ain't none of my business. But so I'm just like, okay, I'm going to just mind my business on this one or whatever. So 
I'm still up listening. I wasn't trying to listen at this point. I was really trying to go to sleep, whatever. Because, you know, whatever. People argue all the time. People fight all the time. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not cool. But I have been in my fair share of uh, domestic, domestic violence. But that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. So, um... I'm laying there, and the next thing I hear was her saying, you know, stop, 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 stop. I just kept hearing her stop, say stop. So that lets me know that he was still hitting her. So in my head, I'm just like, you know what, I'm just going to call the police on this one because I don't think it was going to end. I don't think it's going to end at all. So now as a neighbor, you don't want to really put yourself in people's other people's business but in my head, I'm just like, what if, you know, what if he hit her too hard or she had her head on the dresser or what if he get mad enough he want to shoot her or strangle her? You know, I don't, I didn't want to be a situation where she ended up on the news and I could have prevented it. You know what I'm saying? So I I was really on the, like, because, you know, people must be telling you, mind your business, leave them alone, mind your business, mind your business, mind your business tonight, mind your business. And then it's just some situation that you just cannot mind your business because you don't want something. Cause if it was me, I would want somebody to call the police. If they hear me getting hurt or beat up or screaming and tell somebody to stop, call the police because obviously I don't want this to be happening right now because I don't want to lose my life. I got kids, okay? I have children. I don't know if she has children. I really don't know my neighbors like that. I don't talk to nobody around um, my neighborhood or in my apartment's complex. I just stay to myself. So, I, And I really don't even know what they look like. I just heard them. So, you know, so I'm just fighting like, should I call the police or should I not call the police? Go in the living room. Go in the living room. All right, go in the living room. Go in the living room, Mariah. So, what was I going to say? Um, I don't, I don't want to listen to the story, but anyway, so I, um, so yeah, I was battling it with, should I do something, should I not do something, but she, when she just kept saying stop, I'm just like, you know what, fuck it, I mean, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, like, forget it, you know, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna call the police, so I called the police and whatever, and after I called the police, um, uh, they, uh, they were still arguing, and they were still fighting, and they stopped fighting when they started tapping the dough. So, yeah, that was something. And, you know, even after when the police came out, they started like, dang, I hope they don't know that I called the police because I don't want to seem like I was being nosy. I really wasn't being nosy. They kind of woke me up out of my sleep. But it just felt like that was something that, that I had to do because I, don't, I didn't want it to get no worse. And I didn't want nobody, no woman or no male because she could have killed him too to lose their life because they got in an argument over some stupid stuff that you could just just get up and leave, even though it's not really that easy, especially when your heart is broken. It's not that easy to just get up and walk away. So, I and I just called the police because if it was me, I would want somebody to call the police for me. If it was me, because I remember when I was in the domestic violence with my child's father, uh, Dion's father, and he was hitting me while I was holding Dion. Dion had to be like a few months old. He probably was like four or five months old. He was hitting me while I was holding him, and his friends were sitting right there. And the next, and I kept telling him to help me. And do you know what they did? They just walked away. They walked away, and they mind their own business. I didn't like that because I felt like, what if he would have killed me? You know what I'm saying? And at this time, me and him wasn't even together. We were broken up. And he was mad at the point, mad at the fact that I was not with him anymore and I was seeing somebody else. That's why he was wanted to hit me. So if it was me and somebody heard me, you know, one of my neighbors or anybody walking past heard me say, stop it, or, or they know somebody hit me, call the police. Because I don't want to lose my life. Or I do not want to go to jail because I had to defend myself. Because I want to stay alive for my children, okay? So it's either he get killed or he get hurt and I end up going to... If you don't go in the living room like I told you. Oh, my mind just do not listen. So, yeah, that's my point in that. Yes, I have been in domestic violence 
mostly with Dion's father, uh, it happened times when I put my hands on my child, my other kid's father, um, my three youngest father. I had put my hands on him before, and usually, because he cheated, of course, and usually I'll just, um, you know, I just throw stuff at him, and I just tell him to get out, you know, stuff like that. But, yes, that is something that I do regret and something that I have learned for from. Good thing I have not had to have this issue with my former or my uh, current uh, love. So, yeah, I think I learned from that. But that's something I do not want to have to go through anymore. And I feel like I will not have to go through that anymore, especially with him. We Even though our, our relationship in the beginning was uh, rocky, but um, it was rocky. So... In the beginning, because, you know, he wanted to be a player and whatever. But, uh, yeah, once uh, he broke my heart in the beginning, and we stopped talking for a few months, but we thought about talking again. And from there, it's just been cool. I really ain't been having no big problems with him. He's been doing everything that I've been wanting him to do. He just treats me so good. So, even though I be telling him he don't, I just be... Making him, trying to make him feel bad or whatever. But anyway. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Because this video is already 11 minutes long. Uh, This probably might even be the vlog that I put up. I'll probably just take a break. I'll probably just put this vlog up Saturday. Because this vlog is already long as heck. So, I'm just going to put up. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put the vlog up Saturday. Because I cannot vlog. On doing a weekend because I have to work tomorrow. So yeah, I'm gonna put this up Saturday, but today is Friday, but I'm gonna put this up tomorrow. Um, that's a little talk through or whatever. But yeah, um, but yeah, just let me know. Like, if you was in my situation, would you have mind your business or would you have called the police? Let me know in the comments because I because I still feel kind of bad for uh, butting into their business. But again, then again, I feel like. You know, I, I stopped the situation from getting worse. But, yeah, y'all let me know in the comments about what y'all think. And, um, uh, I guess since this, is gonna, this vlog is going up Saturday, I will talk to y'all Monday because I cannot vlog Sunday because I have to work. I might have to work. I don't know because sometimes my clients leave for the weekend. So, yeah. So, um, I will talk to you guys Monday.